Started facing at a photo they've taken. All right, so here's a little afterthought filming here where um, our refrigerator stopped getting cold. And I was looking, we're technically out of warranty. I know the compressor's working because the, the freezer is still getting cold, but so I pulled all the food out and pull off this back panel um, you gotta take out two screws and then pop out a couple well kind of pry out a little a uh, couple little things cl uh, plastic clips here bend it out and then it kind of finally pops out and then you there's a plug here you unplug the fan comes out with this piece here and so right now I'm defrosting the bottom. There's, I got, this was all filled with ice. Um, and kind of squirting warm water on it, letting it cool down, then sucking it out, put more warm water. But there's a drain plug right here and I can feel there's still ice in there. And I've noticed the back hasn't had any water draining out. So I'm thinking that that's all been frozen up. Um, so we're gonna, continue to defrost this, dry it out, get all the coils uh, dry before we turn it on again, otherwise they can freeze back up. Um, we want them to get cold, but when the ice builds up, they don't work as well. And yeah, I was reading, it's like, so this is, we've had this refrigerator for about two years. It's the Condura uh, CBF253i. So bottom freezer, top refrigerator. Um, but yeah, the refrigerator just stopped getting cold at all. And I, was like, I had heard a couple pops, so, but this is kind of the first things I want to try out uh, before I dig in further. Technically the compressor's under warranty, but all the parts and all that stuff aren't under warranty anymore, so I'm trying to do it myself. Uh, because I like to save money. So, give me some updates. Here's all our frozen food right now. Right. Right. Gonna, I got a medical syringe here. I use this, usually use this to suck out the water from the drainage uh, in the back. About 50 paces on the Zada if they're in stock. I've ordered ordered this like four times before I finally got it. I kept getting out of stock, even though it said in stock. I'll let that thaw a little bit more, then I'll start to check the back again in a little bit, see if water's actually coming down and draining, and then I'll put the fan in here to try and dry it out. Maybe spray with some compressed air if I can find some. Oh, well, anything else? Yeah, I think that's supposed to be the drain from the refrigerator. That comes down. Well, the ice is going down, but it's still there. Yeah. This isn't super hot water. It started out only around uh, 55 degrees up to 60 degrees. So I've got one of those old plug-in tap water heaters. It's a bit hot water on that, so it's not like boiling hot water. Like it's going to melt stuff. Um, I'll probably cool down a little bit more, so. but it's still, still warm.
try and get this done so I can get the food back in here sooner. Otherwise, it'll be sitting for probably a couple of days before all this would melt. And your food's gonna go bad, and you got a full freezer, full fridge, so that's sad. I'll update in a little bit here. But this is the first, first little update, and I'll show how put it back together and you can kind of reverse that for pulling it apart um, yeah I forgot to film any of that just trying to figure out what to do since I can't find anything online other than oh buy buy this refrigerator when you search it and search for manual it tells you where to buy it Not, nothing about repairs or anything or people you can call for repairs but that's it yeah. alright we finally got the ice this drain hole supposed to be a heater coil at the bottom to defrost that and that's not working. So while we're back here, let's check these connections. Just new, right? We bought it 2000. Yeah, it's only like 20. two years old. Here. 
go up 10 screws that go right here. Keep an eye on it, see if that works, but hopefully this will help people out to be able to do it themselves a little bit if they need. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.